What's up, Beauties and Hansons? As you can see, I am in new space. Um, me and my little family, we just moved. I am tired, y'all. Honestly, I didn't even want to post this week, but I promise y'all a, a video every single week, and this is a workout video week, so I'm here. Barely, but I'm here. So go ahead and clear some space, and let's get started. So we're gonna start with a slight little warm up. So we're just gonna hit some stepping jacks here. Really just warming that body up, getting all the body parts moving. Like in the title, this is low impact. So there is no jumping, but you will be sweating. If you're not sweating, you're not doing something right. Good job. From here, we're going to take it into some high knee pulls. So just pulling it here. All right, baby. And that's my daughter. <laughs> you want to be in the video? <laughs> Y'all, she got her pajamas on, but she insisted that she wear her dress. So that is why she has her dress on over her pajamas. All right, we're going into butt kicks. Watch out, baby girl. You gonna watch PJ Mask? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh, you gonna work out? Mm -hmm. I like that. All right. So I did a leg workout yesterday. My legs are sore. So if it looks like I'm not doing a lot, I'm doing a lot for the condition my body is in right now. All right, so from here, we're rolling our shoulders back. You can keep stepping it out here. You can just stand still. It's up to you. Really just moving those shoulders. Good job. Yep, now rolling them forward. The other way, this way. All right, now making big arm circles. Move over. Like I said, you can stay still or you can step it out. All right, some reach across. Don't swing too hard. You all right? All right. We're gonna come into a squat and then straighten it back out. Just to warm up that lower half. All right. And we're gonna roll it up slowly. Shaking it out. Good job. If you need to grab some water before we get into this workout. And I don't even have any water. So the first move is a good morning with the squat. So we're gonna put those hands behind the head. We're gonna hinge at the hips, making sure that back is flat, standing up, coming into a squat. Join in as you get ready. Each exercise, it's 50 seconds with a 10 second rest in between. And we got three rounds today. So I'm gonna give y'all a 15 minute workout instead of a 10 minute workout. Kind of conversation for me being so late. <laughs> Make sure you squeeze as you come up with the squat and with the hinge at the hips. All right, 10 seconds. And when that 10 seconds is up, we're going into high knee toe taps. And I will show you that in just a few seconds. All right, so we're taking the hands to the knees and then to the feet. Watch out, baby. To the knees and then tapping the feet. To the knees and then tapping the feet. So really bringing those knees up. I know we're not jumping, but you really want to get them up as high as you can. Knees, 
Good job, and then feet. Knees and feet. And if you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can speed it up. If not, you can keep it wherever you are, as long as you're giving yourself a little bit of a challenge. We're almost there. All right, 10 seconds. This next move is on the floor. Up, down, push, up, down, plank, sorry, with a push up. So we're gonna get on our knees, hands and knees. We're going down and then up, and then we're taking it into a push up. And then you wanna start with the opposite leading hand and then get into that push up. So you wanna make sure that you hit the core tight here. And as you're going down into that push up, making sure that your chest is leading you and not your head, so that you're really working that upper body. We're almost there. Stay with me. I still do. I still do. Good job, 10 seconds. And then we're going into skaters. So this is another cardio move. And if you've been working out with me for a while, you already know how these go. So we're stepping out to one side, taking that opposite hand down. Other side, taking that hand down. And taking it down. And if you want to, you can even add a little hop in the middle. Shane. Stay at a steady pace because your heart rate is going to come up as your body is going up and down. It's a really simple move, very effective. Shane, watch out, baby. All right, 10 seconds, and then we're going back to the ground. Go to the back. All right, next we've got dead bugs. So we're bringing the arms straight up, legs at a 90 degree angle. We're dropping that leg, and then exhaling as we're bringing, go. As we're bringing it back up. Inhale and exhale as you bring it back up. So this is a great core move without all the crunches. Great core strengthening, especially if you just had a baby. I know I was doing these. I stopped doing them, but I shouldn't have. Great way to center your core. All right, back up in 10 seconds. We're starting back from the beginning with the good mornings and the squats. All right, so I'm gonna face this way. You already know what you're doing. So we're hinging at the hips and we're hitting that squat. Making sure you're squeezing each way. Good job. Remember, form over speed. This is your workout. You make it whatever you want to make it. Take your time. You're giving your all. Your body will let you know. All right, almost there. Stick with me. All right, back into those high knee toe taps. This time I'm challenging you to speed it up faster than you did in the last round. So getting those knees up, getting those feet up. Knees, feet, knees, feet. <laughs> I know we're not jumping, but you want to make sure that you are keeping the core as 
tight as you can. So really supporting your body, especially in this stance, you want to stay straight up. You don't want to be leaning over or too far back. Got off track. <laughs> back to the ground for those up down planks with push-ups now if you want to stay on your knees you can if you want to take it up that's up to you all right so we're taking it down and up into that push-up no matter which way you're doing it making sure that you keep that core tight and you're leading with that chest Alright, almost there. So this is cardio, makes a strength training. So you get in a nice full body workout here with a little bit of toning. And I'm gonna take it down. We're almost there. Alright. Back up for those skaters. We got one more round after this. You got it. I'm right here with you. All right, here we go. Really traveling, even if you're not doing a hop, really covering some distance with those skaters. Good job. We're almost there. So I'm really working on my breathing while I'm talking to y'all. Because your girl be tired. Talking and working out at the same time is no joke. 10 seconds. Down to the ground for those dead bugs. All right, inhale. So as you bring it in, you should really feel that core tightening up. Trying to keep that back as flat to the ground as you can. We're almost there. Keep pushing with me. Ten seconds. And we will be on the last round. This is the last round. Give me all you got. All right, here we go. We're hinging it, we're dropping it. Hinging it, squeeze. Dropping it, squeeze. Good job. Last time you gotta do these. I didn't tell y'all my body was sore, right? I feel like I can't hinge anywhere. <laughs> Almost there. Try not to use your hands to press against your head. They're more so just there to stay out of the way. All right. Next thing, high knee, toe taps. Faster than you did the last round. I'm gonna try to go faster too. Give me all you got. This is the last time you gotta do these. Really getting those knees up. Good job. Almost there. I'm sweating. 
y'all. I don't know if it's the lights. I hear the air. This apartment gets cold. So this workout is really warming up my body. So I'm sure it's warming up yours. All right, we're almost there. Don't let up, keep them up. Woo! Up, down planks with push-ups. Probably your least favorite, but you got it. Here we go. Strong core, strong body. Leading with the chest, keeping that core tight as you go down to that low plank. Remember to breathe. We're almost there. left I don't need it baby thank you though I don't need it. all right skaters are right, next you gonna do the skaters with me come on all right here we go taking it over come on you don't want to do it yes you can look just tap the ground. There you go, tap the ground. There you go, that's good. <laughs> All right, we are about halfway through. <sighs> Y'all, this is me working out at home in real life. <laughs> Breathe through it, we're almost there. Okay. Last thing before we cool down, dead bugs. Okay. Remember, back as flat to the ground as possible. Really squeezing it in. Almost there. Watch out, baby. Over here. Come on, you got it. We're almost there. Keep pushing. Right. All right. Quick little cool down before I leave you. You gonna stretch? Come on. All right. Head tilt. Pulling on that head slightly as you lean it to the left. And other side. All right, taking that arm across. This should feel good after those push-ups. And taking it to the other side. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling good. Like that was a good little 15 minutes. All right, take the hand up, drop it behind the back and pull on the elbow as you step that foot back the foot where the arm is up and down so that you're leaning to your right all right release it do the same thing on the other side arm up drop it back and pull and lean all right release it Shake it out a little bit. And 
we're going to touch the floor here. And then take it to your right or left, it's up to you. And then walk those hands to the other side. All right, from here, slowly rolling up. All right, you all right? Bringing that leg up for a quad stretch. As you're pulling that foot back, bring the hips forward to really get a good stretch in that quad. All right, and then with that same foot, step back so that you can get in a good hamstring stretch. All right, and with that same foot that's extended forward, we're gonna bring it back. Shane, what are you doing? Bringing those hips forward. Close it, baby. And bringing that foot back and extending that other leg. All right, deep inhale and exhale. Again, deep inhale and exhale. And you just finished a killer 15 minute beginner workout. Give yourself a round of applause. All right, I'll see you next Monday. Is it